Hello, uh, it's Declan here with another video. And today I'm just on the uh, Target stock market chart. Um, Target released their Q2 earnings yesterday on Wednesday and the um, stock fell by 3%, uh, which wasn't a massive amount. You can see it here. Um, yesterday on the 17th, it was trading at uh, 182.50 and it gapped down to at market close one seventy five twenty eight. That was yesterday, um, because it's eleven twenty one now a.m. in the morning. The um American stock market is not open until f two Irish time. So I'll just take you on to an article now in relation to Target and their Q two earnings, uh, which were released yesterday. Look for the year, however, if we didn't deal, if we hadn't dealt with our excess inventory. Head on, we could have avoided some short term pain on the on the profit line, but that would have hampered our longer term potential. Target CFO said so that that makes sense. So Target on Wednesday said, however, that its quarterly profit fell by nearly ninety percent from the year. Well, that's a massive drop, as the retailer followed through on its warning that steep markdowns on unwanted merchandise would weigh on its bottom line. Uh, the big box retailer missed Wall Street expectations by a wide margin, even after the company itself lowered its guidance twice. <clears throat> Yet the company reiterated its full year forecast, saying it is now positioned for a rebound. It said it expects full year revenue growth in low to mid single digits. Targets also said its operating margin rate would be be in a range of around 6% in the second half of the year. This would represent a jump from its operating margin of 1.2% in the fiscal second quarter. So the um, earnings per share were uh, 39 per cents uh, versus 72 per uh, cents expected. That was a massive um, uh, shortfall. Uh, revenue was 26.04 versus 26.04 billion expected. That was on target. Uh, pardon the pun. <laughs> target had a sharp reversal of fortunes uh, over the past two quarters. See, during the pandemic, uh, a lot of the products, they, they couldn't keep in the products they were selling that time. They were flying off the shelves, whereas now, and uh, they ordered the same, they're stuck with the kind of the inventory and they're having to sell at a massive loss or try to clear it out. That's what's really happening. So some of the excess merchandise is the same stuff that sold out, yeah, during earlier parts of the pandemic when shoppers snapped up home decor decor and loungewear, which now with fears of recession and everything, people are just buying the essentials and uh yeah, they're not decorating their homes as unless they really have to like do everyone is price conscious and with all the price hikes and everything so that's you know it, it's it's no it's no um reflection on target as a company it's just every company at the moment is experiencing um a lot of supply chain issues and everything and people are weary uh, of the price hikes petrol inflation food costs everything it's all gone up um as I said i said in a previous video like the um the esp cost minor one up 24 percent at the end of the month and care insurance everything has gone up so everyone is uh, a lot more price conscious and they're just buying what they really need the, the essentials at the moment but as i said like in this article um Target do expect things to rebound, but they've, they've had to just sell off at the moment. And as, as I said, their inventory was still high, 15.32 billion at the end of the second quarter compared to 15.8 billion at the end of the first. Yeah, they're, they're, they're stuck with that much in, in inventory at the moment, so they're going to have to sell at a massive loss in order to clear um, the backlog of uh, things to have. So... Uh, I just said I'd do this uh, video in relation to Target and their uh, earnings because they just released their earnings report yesterday. So, like, as I said, I showed you on the chart, it fell by just 3%. I thought it would have fallen more. I thought there'd be more of a reaction, but like people realize, and this was expected with Target, um, 
as a retailer, uh, this was forecast and people, I suppose that's the reason people were, were expecting it and they weren't that surprised by it. So anyone that had target shares and target, they didn't, there was no panic sell off. It was just a 3% drop yesterday. And it'd be interesting to see the next, <clears throat> excuse me, next few weeks, how target does rebound uh, shares wise and as a company in the next few months. Um, yeah, so I just said I shared this quick video and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, uh, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel for further stock market updates. Uh, thank you again and uh, take care.